How to hook salmon eggs for bait. Salmon eggs are a great fishing bait that can allure a wide variety of fish, including salmon, steelhead, and trout. If you plan on using salmon eggs for bait, you need to create a sack, or row bag, so that the eggs don't float away. To do this, you'll have to purchase specialty mesh sheets from a fishing store and create the bags by hand. From there, you can secure your salmon eggs to your hook using a special type of knot. Tying a row bag. Place a spawn net on a flat surface. You can purchase spawn nets, or 4x4 4 4 inch 10 cm x 10 cm mesh sheets, online or at a fishing store. These sheets are created specifically to hold eggs as bait and usually come in packages of 25 or 50. Yellow sheets are better if you're fishing in murky water. Red sheets are more alluring to fish if you're fishing in clear water. Yellow sheets are better if you're fishing in murky water. Red sheets are more alluring to fish if you're fishing in clear water. Scoop 6 to 20 eggs into the center of the mesh sheet. The more eggs that you place in each row bag, the larger your bait will be. If you are fishing for larger fish, like trout, you'd want to make the row bag bigger to better attract them. If you are fishing for smaller sized fish, like sunfish, make the row bag small enough to fit in their mouth. You can purchase salmon egg bait at a fishing store or online. You can purchase salmon egg bait at a fishing store or online. Place 3 to 5 small bait floats on top of the eggs. Bait floats are small plastic balls that will keep the row bag floating in the water in stronger currents. Adding these small bait floats to the row bag will prevent it from scraping the bottom and can prevent your bait from getting caught on rocks. The bait floats should be about the same size as your salmon eggs. The bait floats should be about the same size as your salmon eggs. Grab the four corners of the mesh sheet and twist the top. Carefully grab the four corners of the mesh and bunch it up over the eggs. Then, twist the top of the mesh so that it creates an egg sack. Twist it two to three more times to secure the sack in place. Do not squeeze the eggs or you may pop them. Do not squeeze the eggs or you may pop them. Tie the top of the bag with thread. Wrap a piece of thread around the top of the bag five to seven times. Then, tie the end of the thread with a knot to hold the eggs in place. You can use a special type of string called tackle spider thread, that will hold the bag in place without having to tie a knot. You can use a special type of string called tackle spider thread, that will hold the bag in place without having to tie a knot. Cut the excess mesh from the top of the bag. Use a pair of scissors to cut 2 to 3 cm 0.79 to 1.18 in from the thread to remove the extra mesh from the top of the bag. You should now have a tight bag of eggs that you can use for bait. If you don't plan on using the bags immediately, you can store them in the refrigerator for up to 3 months. Most row bags are 1 to 2 inches 2.5 to 5.1 cm in diameter. If the row bags look white or discolored over time, it means they are going bad and you should create fresh bags. If you don't plan on using the bags immediately, you can store them in the refrigerator for up to 3 months. Most row bags are 1 to 2 inches 2.5 to 5.1 cm in diameter. If the row bags look white or discolored over time, it means they are going bad and you should create fresh bags.